So we're here at the Atmel booth, and uh, who are you? My name is uh, Andreas Eyalon, I do uh, marketing in Atmel. And one of the products we are promoting at CES this year is our Atmel Smart SAM L21. This is a Cortex M0 Plus based ultra low power product from Atmel. And this device can run down to 35 microamps per megahertz in active mode, sub 1 microamp with 32 kilobytes of SRAM retained, and the RTC running. So, where's the CPU? The CPU is over on this board here. Is it the big one there? The big one there, yeah. This That's the a Cortex M Zero Plus. Zero Plus. With 256K of flash, ultra low power. Ha. And what I'm going to do on this demo, I'm going to put uh, some uh, warm cup here. And the different and the Peltier element runs enough power for me to run audio decoding and also do the AM modulation of the radio signal of the song out here. And then on my Oh, on my trusted alarm clock here, we should start picking up the music. So, oh. put the cup on. Start soon. It needs to load the caps and then it will start. Oh, I have the antenna touching. That's not good. Loading the caps, go up the caps okay. and this bit. Now it's stuff. And actually, it's, it's so low power, it's actually enough that I put my hand on this, it will be enough to maintain it. So, the world's lowest power Cortex M0 Plus using a third of the power of any comparable solution out there. So it's being powered by your hand? Right now it's being powered by my hand. But how does that work? It's a Peltier element, so it uses differentials in temperature. So it's actually powered with, with the temperature difference between my hand and this room. So it's like a. What do you call it? Uh, energy energy harvesting. harvesting. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a commonly used energy harvesting technique. But does it, does it, is it already in the market, uh, this kind of stuff? Yeah, everything's in the market. And now it's actually just running from the decoupling caps. So we just got uh, Rickrolled. Rickrolled? Yeah, that's just a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got it started again with my hands. So as long as you put your hand, it just continues, or yeah. no? No, really? it just continues because your hand is warmer. Yeah. So right. now, it, now it stops, right? This is uh, put my hand on. It only has one song that goes over and over and over. I have three, four different songs on it. It just goes through randomly. On. So when you hear the clicks, it's actually the brownout detect on the device that hits when it tries to start up. It doesn't have enough voltage. The frequency goes down. That means I'm getting close to having enough voltage. Oh, come on. It's gonna come, we know. Yeah. But how about, where, where is it gonna go? So the SAM L21 is perfect for wearables. It's perfect, it also has a built-in capacitive touch sensing, so you can use it for simple screens. So wearables, Internet of Things. What we're doing with the Atmel Smart SAM L21 is we have an ultra low power Cortex M, but with a large flash on it. So it's two five, up to 256 scale flash. So it's a large enough flash to actually run an IoT stack, either Bluetooth, like we're displaying on our boot, Wi Fi, Zigbee. So you can have large applications and still have ultra low power. It's not only for energy harvesting. No, it's, it's not only, but it's primarily for battery powered applications. So let's say you have a little battery and it lasts for a year, or how does it a work? A decade. A decade for what? What kind of thing? Well, if you let's say you have a glass break sensor in your house, right? So it's an IoT node on your glass, yeah. waiting for the glass to break. And when it breaks, then what? Connect your access point and say someone broke into your house. That, those kind of applications will have a decade on battery life of this product. And the price? It's very the price small. is right. Is as small as the power? <laughs> You have to pay a premium for the low power over our standard products, but of course uh, it's a competitive part. We don't launch new products that are not priced competitively.